So we have this right here. And what we want to do is we're going to talk about Stash, Get Stash. Get Stash allows you to start working on something. And then without it being staged, save it. You know, then come back and work on it again for you to stage it and then commit it. Sometimes you might have to leave something in, you know, midway through before you stage it and have to go to another branch and come back to it later. That's what Get Stash allows you to do. So we're going to, I'm going to give you an example of this. So again, this goes to a detail page, right? All these go to the same detail page detail.html okay so um when i pull this up what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this and put this in here and copy paste this and i'm going to say this is my detail page this is oh jesus christ This is my detail page. Okay, save it. Go here. This is my detail page. Okay. So um, right now I am on on development branch. <clears throat> However, if I look at my status, get status. This has to be um, staged. Say I don't want to stage it yet, right? I don't want to add it yet. So what I can do is get stash. Or just stash. Get stash. Right? And um, if I want to save it with a message, um, I can say git push dash m. That saves it with a commit message. But for now, we just I just said git stash, and now this is saved. Now when I do git status, it's clean. It's clean. So now I can go to git checkout master. And I want master, master. Okay, get status. You know, my master branch is clean. Now let me go back to get switch. Cause I can either do get switch or get checkout. Development, right? And again, get status. And, you know, when I go here, right, this is empty. But if I say get apply, right, first of all, let me look at, this is show you something, get list, get stash list. And this is the stash right there. Um, if I had more than one thing stash, it would say get stash one. Sorry. It would say get stash one, you know, or get stash two. Right now, just get stash zero, right? So I can say get stash apply zero. And as you know, this has the stuff back in here, right back in here. Again, it replaced it, okay? And now I can just say, you know, get add, get commit. And now it's staged 
and committed. So that's just a little something. Um, if I want to get rid of this, right? If I want to say get rid of it, I can say hit list get stash list so this is still in here right even though i applied it if i want to get rid of in a stash or something that i've stashed i can say get stash drop zero and now it's dropped it status, but this is still the same, right? So again, if I want to remove something that hasn't been staged, you know what it is, get, I can even say get checkout, get checkout dot. And now get, status, everything's up to date, and that's, well, you know something, um, get status. So I can also just, you know, do get reset hard, get reset, dash dash hjrd moves us back to that let's see get let me make sure get branch development well i can also just Oh, I guess there, yeah, it was, wasn't showing it. All right, so it's gone. So that's basically get stash. You guys can go in here and play with it if you want to. You know, remember, um, you know, if so when you have something to say, it's get stash. Or if it's not, you know, get stash or get stash dash you. That's unstaged. Um, Get, if you want to apply it, get stash apply in the number in the list. Get stash list, so a list. Get stash push dash M um, creates a stash with a commit message um, or with a message. Get stash pop um, uh, basically uh, revokes the stash from the list or removes the stash from the list um, when you apply it. When you apply it, it removes the stash from the list. And of course, get stash drop just removes the stash from the list. And yeah, go back and try those things. Um, and we're on to the next.